Alright, hey everybody, Joe Frenzy, People on Outdoors. Uh, I'm out at my property today and decided, you know what, I've got this piece of gear in my camp set that I haven't used in it really at all since I got it. So I figured, you know what, today I'm going to try to see if I can get it to work and, and kind of use it to make a cup of coffee. So, what do I have for today? So, I just got back from Intro to Survival School at the Pathfinder School, Self Reliance Outfitters, and um, and one of the things they gave us in our packs was these all-weather fire, uh, the Pathfinder Mini Inferno. So I'm going to use one of these to kind of get a fire started today, hopefully with my ferro rod. We'll see if that works. And um, so I'm going to use that. Um, also, I have this, which in this pouch, and this is my Lixada folding stove. Um, so in this pouch, I have a plate for an alcohol burner, as you can see right there. Uh, I'm going to put this down to the side here. I have the... Uh, key ring which is the pin that's going to hold the stove together um, and then I have the stove itself so the stove this one um, kind of folds out and you can see the you can see the Luxada name right there on the stove right so I'm going to kind of fold this around and I'm going to put the the ashtray um, collect the ash in here like this and just kind of put it in there like that fold this that goes in there this closes okay and then these holes right here on the end line up and then you can go ahead and just drop this pin right into these there and that's it now you have your stove and it's solid together there's the ash uh, the bottom plate right um, and then you have this big opening where you can put your your wood to get a fire started and do that kind of thing so I've never used this as I had it I, I planned on using it a bunch of times and never got to it so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use it today so basically I'm in my fire pit out here in, in our campsite I've got the Luxada stove right there so I'm gonna just go ahead and open up and use one of these mini infernos um, I'm sure you've seen them online or seen them in other videos but um, finally got my hands on some we went to the Pathfinder school, so I'm just going to go ahead and take it, and it's coated in wax, and it's got um, stuff on it, so I'm going to tear it up, kind of expose those fibers, and I'm going to use this, just kind of rip it like this, kind of get it all worked in, peeled off, yeah, it should be good, so it's kind of just a big mess, see like that, and I'm going to see if I can use my ferro rod and see if I can get a fire started, and I've got a bunch of sticks over here that I'm going to use, so I'm just going to throw that right in there, and I'm going to close this up, and okay, put this off to the side with my pouch, and then obviously I've got my, I've got my, uh, my old canteen cup, this is the first one I ever got, stainless steel, it's not Pathfinder, it's basically from an Army Navy store, but I did get the uh, Pathfinder lid to go with it. Um, and then I have my coffee here with creamer. This is the basil hazelnut. So I'm going to take those rubber bands off and, and kind of use it. And I've got my Pathfinder titanium spork spoon bottle opener hook to kind of um, use it to stir. And then I've got my Pathfinder canteen over there with my water that I'm going to add, obviously, into the canteen cup. So let me go ahead and... Um, put this off to the side and try to get this fire started and we'll kind of show you that and see if we can get a fire going in this looks out of stove all right everybody so I've got the um, I've got my um, in the mini inferno uh, in the bottom of the looks out of stove there and uh, the knife I'm using today is a Ursus 45 this is from White River Knives um, it's a and here you can kind of take a look at it it's a stainless steel knife uh, special edition uh, white river um, so i got this at the blade show back in uh, june when i went it comes with a kydex holder on my lip on my hip and it's got a ferro rod right here so i try to move this stuff out of the way and i'm just going to try to use the spine of my knife brace it and kind of pull that Let's see if i can kind of get those sparks in there Okay, cool. So it's lit. There you go. Awesome. So that mini inferno is lit using my ferro rod. So I'm just going to go ahead and start putting this, putting this in the middle and kind of putting these sticks in there. See if we can get a fire going. Now, since my canteen's not on there right now, I can put these sticks in like this. Go ahead and just kind of lay them in here. 
see if we can get this going. There we go. Got plenty of airflow with that particular stove, so there's no doubt that fire is going to kick off. So it did rain last night, but those mini infernos, whatever chemicals they got on there, they don't have any problem handling uh, wet wood. So they'll just get a nice bed of coals going, and we can get a nice good fire for my camp for my coffee. And you can see it's burning in there. It doesn't take much from that ferro rod to to get that mini inferno going, so that's that's kind of pretty cool. All right. So we just kind of let that burn, let it burn down, add more as we need it. One thing about starting a fire, you know, you always get you got to start with your smalls. You got to start with your small, like lead pencil, like the lead inside of a pencil thin. Get those coals going, and then you can add things as big as your thumb. But with this nice breeze going, and, and that, and these sticks, this should this should take off here and be awesome. As soon as that burns down a little bit and gets off the edge, I'm going to add water to my canteen uh, cup and we'll go ahead and get that water on there and get it boiling and it'll just feed through this opening right here. We've got plenty of sticks, a little bit bigger size, kind of can work those in. Let me go ahead and get my canteen, obviously, Pathfinder canteen. Got some water in here. I'm going to go ahead and fill up my canteen cup. There you go. It's perfect. It's enough water. Just set that right there. Put my lid on it. All right. Now I'm just going to go ahead and just feed this fire and... Uh, with these sticks that I have over here and we'll just get that water boiling and then go ahead and have a fresh cup of coffee but uh, um, that was really good I'm, I'm really glad um, I got this stove and it was the first time I used it and um, like I said the the um, my night my new knife I just got comes with this uh, ferro rod you see there struck it a few times get that fire going and that mini inferno from Pathfinder self-reliance outfitters boy they just took that little bit of a spark and boom there it is so all right, when this water's boiling, I'll bring you back and kind of show you just me having my finished coffee. 
All right, so I still got the fire going. I got on my stool now a little bit so I can sit up by the fire here. Put a few more sticks in there that are about thumb size. So I started with smalls and then I added uh, some sticks that are about thumb size, about like this size. So I just kind of put them in there. Just get it there. Just lay it in there. Let them catch. Fire's going nice. Water's almost boiling. So just that canteen cup sits nice right on there. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. This is this is pretty cool. So just uh, waiting for that water to boil. Let's take a look and see. Oh, steam and there's little bubbles coming out, but it's not a rolling boil yet. So I just like to have it as a rolling boil. Not that I necessarily need it that hot, but that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna kind of get this looks out of stove all kind of nice and patina with this fire and then yeah look at that I mean that that that's awesome I mean that's just a, the perfect kind of fire for this stove to, to heat that so all right when that water's boiling I'll add that coffee and then uh, just kind of end this video so just be bring it right back in a minute all right everybody that fire's still going good under there I'm keep feeding it so let's go ahead and take the lid off oh yeah sure enough we got a nice rolling boil right there so I'm gonna go ahead and just open up my coffee right here this has already got all the coffee and cream already in it so I'm just going to add that right in there let's see there we go there we go get out of there stir that a little bit titanium spork okay this coffee is done so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my handles hopefully they're not too hot no nope, they're not too hot I know this cup is hot though so it's gonna take me a minute to be able to drink my coffee but that's okay it's nice to have a nice warm cup of coffee uh, after I was out in the woods today doing some stuff so Right. Well, anyway, I'm just going to end this video off, um, and I was just really, really glad I got to use this stove and see how it worked, and those mini infernos, I said, were awesome. So, thanks everybody for watching, um, you know, just a simple quick video and a kind of a product review for that Lixada folding stove. I like the one with the pin better than the one with the folding edges. Just the pin seemed easier to like, take apart and, and put back in the bag, and then if you have to take it out, put it back together. The one with the pin in that loop seems a lot easier than the ones where you gotta like kind of put in those tabs and kind of fold them over. I've heard some reviews where it kind of falls apart and loses its integrity a little bit, but this thing is just absolutely solid with that base and with that uh, pin in there on the side. So, all right, everybody, thanks again for watching. If you like what you see, please hit like and subscribe. Any comments, just drop them. I'll be happy to reply. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care.